we have an exclusive interview with that man who went undercover and set the trap that could break this case wide open. Chris Cuomo, as you know, live in Amsterdam for us this morning. Chris? And Robin, you know, the man you're about to meet believed he could do what no one else has. He describes himself as the ultimate concerned citizen. He's not a cop. He's not a reporter. And that may have been the key to his success in getting Joran von der Sloot to admit his role in the disappearance of Natalie Holloway. Ben ik, ik had er, ik had erbij. Ik had er helemaal geen, geen slecht gevoel bij. Ik heb er geen, geen moment. nacht slaap over verloren. Unbelievable. How can you sleep? I did this thing. I had a lot of days. I couldn't even sleep. And I was harming nobody. When was the first time you met Joran? Uh, I went to the casino. I went over to him. He was playing the game. And the first thing I said to him was, Hey, Matong. That means from, hey, murderer. But with a, with a funny kind of way, you know? And why did you say it that way? Uh, because it's the truth. Uh, I, I never planned him for being my friend. He was never my friend. This is 34-year-old Patrick van der Aim, married father of two, born in the Antilles, filled with Dutch pride and disgust at what he believed to be Joran van der Sloot's lies. He decided to do what no one else had, get the truth out of van der Sloot. So for six months, up to eight hours a day, he palled around with Joran, mostly cruising, all part of a carefully crafted scheme. And why did you want this? Why did I want this? It's obvious. Everybody was looking for the truth, for a mother. And when you saw him in the casino, you said, this is your chance. And I will finish him. And what was the game? How were you presenting yourself to him? As a gangster, a big one. Despite having no training, he posed as a dealer looking to set up an operation. And the key, he ignored any talk about Natalie Holloway. With the foundation laid, he called television journalist Peter DeVries, who hired him. I had my Range Rover waiting all that time, with cameras, everything in it. Peter DeVries with people waiting outside filming. We were all ready for him. And he took the opportunity and started to talk. The minute he sat in my Range Rover, he's telling about the murder, the dying of Natalie Holloway in his hands, and, and, and without any emotions. You know, I, I felt sometimes I had to cry, but I had to keep it in, you know. But as soon as he get out of the car, my tears were coming. Bang! Joran told him that he called a friend who used a boat to dump the body. At one point, Joran even brags about his ability to outsmart the authorities. But yeah, I have it also good played, hoor, in the beginning. Want uh, in the beginning, uh, I thought, I think, jongen, you can tell them what they want, weet je? Want als ze toch geen bewijs hebben krijgen, dan ja, weet je, ze naar je me toch niet. You said it's like a chess game. Definitely, but I'm finished. He's checkmate. And so Patrick has outsmarted Joran, getting the 20-year-old to make this startling admission. And we have just taken him to the boat. Tilt. Yeah, with his two just even snel. And he's. No one has ever seen him before. An admission that now brings two strangers, a mother and an informant, together. I mean, Patrick, you ended my nightmare. And I'm happy. Yeah. You, Thank you ended my nightmare. Do you have any feeling of betrayal, that you betrayed him? No, you betrayed my country and you betrayed the whole world, Joran. This is your punishment. You know, I asked him, Rob, why didn't you keep going with this, Patrick? Maybe you could have found something out about exactly how Natalie Holloway died that's different than what you'd heard. He said he couldn't take it any more emotionally, that literally it was too much sitting in that car pretending not to care about something that as a father and as a human he just couldn't withstand. And he says he doesn't care what the prosecutors do with this tape, that now that it has aired, that it will condemn Joran von der Sloot to a life of shame. There is a full report tonight at 9.30, that's 8.30 Central, on the final hours of Natalie Holloway, a special edition of ABC's 2020.